Hello everyone, this is Unlink the Buffy here, and welcome back to a brand... Actually, not back, This because this is the first episode in my brand new series where we explore some relatively simple range into relatively complex uh, redstone builds using command blocks. This is to give you some interesting items and do interesting things in Minecraft. It's all vanilla, but you do need to use commands, also known as cheats in survival, to give you the building blocks for it. In this episode, we are going to explore incendiary grenades, as you could obviously probably tell by the title of this episode. Also, I have not yet found a good uh, name for the series as of this time of recording, so hopefully by the time you see it, it will have an awesome name. Fingers crossed, that is. But the way this one works is it gives you an incendiary grenade. It looks like a snowball, but it, in fact, it is a fireball. Oh, yeah. I need to actually start the thing. That, that probably makes more sense. Ah, this is me not being prepared. Sorry. All right. We're going to throw our incendiary grenade, and you're going to see that it starts smoking for a little bit, and then it erupts into fire. Who doesn't love fire? Well, probably not snowmen. Probably. That's really kind of annoying to sit next to. But this is pretty much the setup for this entire thing. It's as compact as I could probably get it with... I know you could probably get it a little bit smaller, but I couldn't figure it out that much because I needed a specific kind of timing. Which means... Lots, whoops, lots of repeaters on a four tick delay. Obviously, for this, we are going to need these command blocks. If you already have them in your world, you could just press your scroll wheel and you can get it. However, if you are needing it the first time ever, then you're going to need a command to give you the command block. Yeah, it seems pretty awesome, doesn't it? So all you need to do is type give, then your name, which you can do by pressing tab, and then you type C-O-M-M, Press tab to com complete that, and it command, and, wow, I cannot talk today, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it gives you command block. There we go. You don't need more than one because we're in creative, and, you know, it's not going to use up any of your inventory. For this, we are also going to need a random building block, a button, redstone torch, repeater, comparator, and, you nope, know, that's actually it. And a redstone block if you want it. Don't necessarily need it, but it'd be nice to have it. To build this, we are going to need a 4x9 area. Like I said, I tried to com uh, compact it as much as I could, but it wasn't all that successful. But this is still relatively small for commands. But the first thing we're going to need to do is build these two fill block clocks. You've also seen it as a set block clock where it just works off this one uh, space right here. But this is a fill one because we need a little bit extra space as you can see right here. It comes out two blocks instead of just the one. The way that this works is this top block is uh, setting the block right below it to clay. And then I hit zero for the damage value and replace. Because I found for some reason in the past, uh, if you don't hit, if you don't have replace in there, then it or if you have destroy in there, it tends to make a lot of sound. Not always, if you forget to put replace, but s sometimes. And I'd rather not take the chance, so I always hit replace. And then this middle command block is filling the block below it and to the, well, kind of in front of it. We're looking at this as a back of this whole setup. We're going to fill those with redstone blocks, once again replacing. Then the bottom command block is filling that same area with clay. The reason I chose clay is because it's easy to type. You can probably also type log, because it's so s short and simple, it's nice. But I like clay better. It even looks better with this. I'm just going to shut this off real quick, just to be safe. There we go. So when we put a redstone block, or redstone torch in here, then it... That was strange. Then what it does is it starts the clock. And it's very, very fast. Even faster than a comparator clock. See, 
we're hitting this as much as we can, and it's not doing a whole lot. It's still there. And then this top block is to turn it off. Just like that, and now it's easy to destroy. Completely empty. Outside of this clock, the first command that we are going to need is... Let me just get rid of that clay, that's going to be annoying. Is the command to give you your incendiary grenade. If you don't really know that much about commands, by the way, I just wanted to say this before I forget about it. If you don't know much about commands, I recommend checking out a series by a guy called SysFailure. He's really awesome to explain explaining all the different kinds of commands. So check him out. His link will be down in the description. Man, I said that without messing up. First time. So we're going to give ourselves a snowball. I typed at P because that's the closest player to the command, right? The command block right there. Then we're going to give ourselves a snowball. One snowball. Damage value of zero. And then we gave it a special name of incendiary grenade. So that way when we get a grenade, then it says incendiary grenade. Nice and easy. So we're just going to copy this and bring it right... Uh, you could just put it anywhere, really. You don't have to put it inside this bl uh, block. So we'll just put it there. Put the button on top of it. Hold shift to put the button on top. And it works. Then the next one that we're going to do is this bottom command block right here. When we throw the snowball, what is it, what this is going to do is summon armor stands that are invisible, silent, but they do have gravity. They also have a custom name, but you can't see it. This is so that we can target those ones without targeting any other armor stands that might be in your world. In this one, it's not too much of a big deal, but if you have a lot of armor stands in like a museum or something, it could be really bad because it kills them. So, we're going to... Uh, execute. That's a good one to have. We're going to be using this a lot. We're going to execute it at all entities that have a type of snowball. Actually, what I should do is change that to name equals incendiary granada. That works. And then relative to where it is, using these what are these called? I actually don't know. When we we're executing it at the snowball that is named incendiary, incendiary grenade, we're going to summon armor stands. One block above the uh, snowball. We're going to name those armor stands particle. We're going to make that name invisible. We're going to have them have gravity. That So really having this no gravity equals zero is not really necessary for this, but I just want to be sure. We're going to make it invisible, and then we're also going to make it silent, so that way when it lands, it doesn't make a sound. Unfortunately, when it lands, I for some reason cannot make it get rid of that particle effect. So, I'm sorry. I try my best. We're just going to place that one block in front of this. In this setup, I have it so that you can just copy it anywhere. It's not... Uh, absolute coordinates, it's relative coordinates. So it's going to be one block towards negative Z. Copy that in, and perfect. The next one is going to be executing at all entities named incendiary grenade. So that way, if you have, like, a chicken named incendiary grenade, it's going to summon armor stands near it. Good luck with that. Same as before, though. And then we're going to make it have a particle of smoke relative to exactly where that uh, item is, in this case the snowball, we're going to have it expand in each direction 0.1 blocks. Then we're going to have it have a speed of 0 0.01. Going to, then this one is to, uh, I can't remember what that does. I have to look it up. I'll put the, I'll probably put a thing on the screen that describes what that does. Then we're going to have this forced, so that way we can see it longer, more than 15 blocks away. Man, I'm sorry for not being able to talk today. I'm going to put that two blocks above this first command that we put there. Next, we're going to have this setup right here. This command block 
is going to be setting the redstone block for this other uh, command. Uh, what is this called? Clock right here. So that way it can turn this on and then it'll turn itself off once everything goes. You'll see what that, what that does in a minute. Once again, relative coordinates. So it's going three blocks towards negative X, one block towards negative Y, which is one block downwards, and one block towards positive Z or positive Z, wherever you are. Setting that to redstone block. Not deciding, I'm deciding not to do it with a replace just yet for this one. Because for some reason it doesn't really matter on this one. Luckily. However, you can obviously do that if you want to. Next, we're going to do this whole timing circuit. We're going to do one block right here. Then two, three, four, and five. So we're going to grab our random block, whatever you want. Place it right here. One, skip a block, two, three, four, five. Then two more blocks right there. And then one on each of those corners like that. Just like this. And then each of these blocks is going to have a four tick delay repeater on it. Except for these two blocks. Those ones are going to have a single tick of delay. Oops. And there we go. Also, I almost forgot one command over here. That would be this one. This one makes it so that way when the snowball lands, then it starts smoking a little bit like you saw in my uh, example. That lets you know that it is landed and is ready to go. So we're executing it at all entities named particle. The C equals negative one is in order to target the one that is furthest away from us. So if we toss the snowball at it, it's probably going to target the armor stand that is right near us. So don't want to do that. Make sure you're tossing it away from wherever this is. We're going to, once we're executing at that, relative coordinates, then we're going to have a particle of smoke just like the ones before. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01 for the speed. Oh yeah, that's what that is. That This 2 is the number of particles. Many commands like the one you saw me use in my intro with the cloud is going to... That one used 1,000 particles. So this one uses 2 because I don't want too many. And then forces so that way we can see it from a, while, a ways away. We're going to copy that and place it over here with this other one. Really, you don't need to have this one be a fill, fill clock as well. It's just easier to copy over the actual commands from this one to this one. So that's just a result of me being a little bit lazy. And then in, and then in between each of these gaps of the repeaters, we're going to place a command block. Including one down in that corner right here. Fill this gap. Not there. And then one command here and another one on top of it. What this bottom command is going to do is kill all entities with the name of particle. So that means all those armor stands and whatever other entities, mobs, uh, minecarts, whatever you want named particle is also going to die. This first one is going to set that same redstone block except two blocks up. So that way it turns off the clock almost immediately. Because we don't want it running forever. Then this command right here is for that explosion. Here, let me just turn it on so you can see what I'm talking about. Give me that. Toss it away. Apparently that's not going to work. Why is this not working? Okay, so I'm not entirely sure where I screwed up, but I just changed this back to all snowballs. I did not change it to a certain type of name, so you're going to have to change that if you can't figure out how to make it work. But nonetheless, where was I? I had changed that. Oh, yes. When we throw the snowball, 
That explosion, sound, and particle is what these control. You can also do it with the prime TNT, but that is what creates those large craters there. So I didn't want to do that. So instead, I executed it at all things named particle that are the furthest away. The furthest thing named particle away from this command block relative to their position. Then I summoned a particle with the uh, particle name of huge explosion, which is what that one is. Relative coordinates again. No extra space, just right where it is. Then I had a speed of one, a particle of one, and forced it so that I could see it from a ways away. Once again, this is a pretty repetitive one because I use very similar commands. Once again, same execution command. Then we're going to do play sound. You will need to look at the wiki for these sound names because the tab does not seem to work with these. So that will also be in the description. This one is random explode, which is the sound of a TNT exploding. You're going to have it so you can hear it, so all players can hear it, relative to where that is. And then a volume of three, so that way it's loud enough to hear from, from a ways. So if we throw it really far, I still can't hear it from there, but that's good enough. So we're going to have that on the bottom. Oh dear, this is not good. Oh, I hope this doesn't burn. I've actually never tested to see whether command blocks burn. They're not technically wood, but they're not really technically anything. Alright, so this next one, these next three are actually all pretty similar. This one is, once again, executing at the furthest thing named particle. They're going to set the block right in that area to fire. We're going to have it replace the air so that way it doesn't destroy any other blocks. Otherwise, it would destroy any block in its path because it is a block in itself. That one is just going to go right here. And the next one is going to be a fill one. Once again, same ex execute command. This time we're going to fill the area one block to the uh, to positive x, one block to positive z, and then one block to negative z and negative x. Other way around. Negative x, negative z. Once again, fire. Re oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> replace with, you're going to want it to replace the air. And then that exact same command is this last one, except instead of one block of uh, fill, we're going to fill it with two, blo uh, two blocks away. Oh, that's why it was messing up before. I didn't change that one. So two blocks to positive X and Z, and two blocks to negative X and Z. So that way it creates a nice square. And then this bottom command right here, I think we've already filled, and, we, and indeed we have. So let's just stop this block right here and make sure that this one is working. So we're going to use these same... Uh, no, we need to change that because I changed the name of the snowball. So that way it didn't have any space in it. Not that it really matters anymore. So we're just going to give ourselves one of those. Alright, well... That's going to have to do. All right. There we go. That works because I accidentally forgot to erase the first one. Toss it. And it definitely has the particles. And perfect. It is indeed working. So, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, a link to download this world will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this command, and I hope to see you in the next episode. So, take care, and have a great day, everybody.